Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm so sorry that the last video was so glitchy. So I'm redoing it and we're gonna do Maribel the Design Space Tutorial, 48 inches. She's actually behind me, you can see there. So we've actually, this is going backwards. We've already pieced her together. So hopefully this video will be a little bit more smooth. All right, so first thing is uh, the file is from the Salty Yankee. She's amazing, I love her files. So um, she has a website, thesaltyyankee.com. Okay, so let's change this to 48 inches in height. So she's humongous. Let's shrink this down to 25% so that we don't have to scroll so much. We still do have to scroll. And let's just start taking apart the pieces, okay? Uh, what we do know from piecing this together already is this skirt right here, this blue, this middle panel is longer than uh, 12 by 12, right? So we're gonna slice it here. Um, the pink, I ended up going with 12 by 24 cardstock. So I kept that and I think that's about it. So let's just start undoing this and making it work. So let's go to ungroup. And one of the things that I really liked about this file were the glasses. So let's move the glasses over. And I loved, so what I did was, uh, let's zoom in for a second the glasses ended up sitting on top of her face a little bit. So they look like real glasses. I absolutely love that. So the glasses themselves, one layer. These, uh, the outline, um, let me double check. Let me see. Uh, one, two, I think just two layers, but the two layers made a difference. We had foam tape in between. So let's make a duplicate of that. Okay, so glasses are done. Earrings, um, let's get to the earrings. We're gonna do this piece by piece. What I ended up doing for the earrings, and where are the earrings? I don't see them. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, are these the earrings? Yeah, those are the earrings, okay. The earrings. I ended up, what did we do? We did, did I do, I can't remember what I did. Oh, I remember what I did. Okay, <laughs> let's, okay, this is what we did. I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna get rid of this one, the left earring, okay? Because if you remember, I did two round pom-poms for the earrings. So I used this piece, okay? And what I did was I, I hand cut this. I just cut off this small circle. So I want two of these. So that I had, so that this little guy right here, is that what I did? Hold on, sorry, let me bring it down and see. Okay, I know what I did now. <laughs> I did not do that. Okay, this is what I did. I, um, okay, because I had two little dots in the actual earring space, it's actually the smaller circle. So cut off this, okay, or we could do this. Let me do that. Let's do that. Let's switch this around. I'm going to arrange, send to the front so I can see this better. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so for the earrings, I really only want the bottom part, okay? So I'm gonna do this. Does that look about right? No. Okay, I think that's, a, that's good enough. I'm gonna slice the two. I only want the smaller circle. Let's see, did I get a good clean small circle? I kind of did. Okay, we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna hide everything. It's not, it, you know what, it's so much easier to just uh, clean this up with scissors, okay? So this, we're gonna get rid of. Now, we're not gonna get rid of one of these though, okay? And let me show you why. So let's go over here a little bit. This little guy, I'm gonna turn into brown you're not gonna really notice it, 
but I'm putting it here to cover up that empty space, okay? This purple is going to go here. It's going to have yarn, and then it's got a string and then a big pom-pom. So the pom-pom hangs out around here. So this black space right here, I ended up just cutting it with the same shape as the brown hair, and I covered it. And you can't even tell that the that the lines here because the pom-pom is right around here. So you won't notice it at all, but that way it's more noticeable with a lot of empty black space. So that's what you're gonna do for that. And we need two of these, so I'm gonna duplicate that. So those are your two earrings. You're gonna put that small one in here. And we're actually, what we end up doing is, I wrapped the yarn in circles and so the yarn ended up going past this little um past this little circle and more into the black space so this ended up working out really really well okay so let's zoom back out so we've got the earrings all done earrings and let's see what's next okay this is the little butterfly butterfly remains the same we ended up wrapping the butterfly in yarn and let's see. Okay, the white. Um, do we need to do anything with the white? I think the white was good. Um, the only thing that you need to do is we do need to separate these pieces out because right now it's 12 inches, so it's gonna be more than, uh, than you can cut because it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So let's bring in a square. And let's slice some of these pieces out so we can actually cut it on our Cricut. So I'm gonna unlock this for a minute, make it longer. Okay, so let's slice. We're slicing the, the rectangle with all the white pieces and we're basically, the rectangle is covering one piece at a time in completely covering it so that we can slice it out. So I'm gonna delete that, but see, now this is by itself. The rest of this is still stuck together, right? But this is, um, we can now cut this piece off. And you see how this little piece, while I don't know how big it is exactly, I know that I don't see it through the cracks here, so it's good. I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. You can continue slicing more, but I've sliced it enough where we can now cut it on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? You can move this in closer when you go to cut it. Right, you can do something like that. You can move this closer so you get the idea. All right. Um, this is a little bit longer, but if you rotate this and you unlock it, your new dimensions are 11.8 by 9.5. We need to do it a little bit more. Oh, 11.9. That's not good, hold on. Okay, there, now we can cut this. You can actually cut this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? As long as one dimension is 11.5 and then the other one is uh, can be a little bit longer. But if you really wanted to mess, if you really wanna make sure, we can just duplicate this and go to contour and separate the pieces. So on this first one, I'm going to remove the band and now the skirt, this, when you rotate it, um, right, let's see, there, oh, still more. There, 11.3 by 9.9. .9. This one, we're gonna contour, we're gonna get rid of the skirt part, and we're gonna have just the band. The band is only 8.2 by 2.5, okay? All right, these four pieces are separated already. Um, we're gonna use contour, so let me move it over. So when you're contouring, you're basically um, hiding pieces, okay? So, or you're separating them out. I want four separate pieces. I need four total copies of this image. So I'm gonna duplicate. That's two, three, four, and then let's go to contour. So on this one, I'm gonna hide all. It's gonna give me this panel right here. Okay, so that's my middle panel. I'm gonna to go to the next one, contour. And you can select here. I don't want these three, for instance. So now I've got my two left panels. Let's go to contour. 
I don't want this, this, or this one. I want just that third one. So there we go. And then on this one, you can do it either way. You can hide all and say, I actually want, oops, no, I want this piece. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Oh no, what did I do? Okay, I don't want that. No. There. <laughs> And there's my last piece, and these are all separated. Okay, so that part's all good. The pink, the pink I did do in one, I used 12 by 24 cardstock, and I did it like this. Um, you can just slice it in the middle if you end up using like pink, pink glitter cardstock, or you can just slice it in the, where you are going to put the tassels. Because if you remember on her skirt, the tassels will actually cover some of the pink wherever that tassel is so you can strategically place that wherever you have a slice so or a seam so i can show you how to do that in case you want to do that so let's go and create a piece like this let's see how big is this ah, it won't grab my skirt where's that little Okay, there we go. So this little guy is 21 inches. So let's make this a little bit bigger and let's do something right in the middle. Grab the two items and slice. So you gotta make sure that a tassel comes right there and you won't see the seams. And then it will still make this look very, very, very perfect and seamless. Because right now we have no seams. We're gonna create a seam right now and we're gonna continue this line. I basically cut this in half. So let's move this over. This one is one of like the cool things that I, you don't wanna do a straight line because it will look like, it'll look really obvious. So what I like to do is I like to go into my text box and I'm going to bring in, I love, I think it's called I, I love glitter I knew it was something like that <laughs> I love glitter is free it's from Defont. Um, what I I'm gonna use here is the square parentheses it's to the right of the letter P so when you use this so this text I'm gonna put this the key to the right of the letter P it's gonna give me this little guy right here and he's nice because he's curvy right um, I'm gonna unlock it and make it a little bit thinner to kind of match this and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can see it better and it's still a little bit this the width is still too thick for this right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna put it really close and I'm gonna slice the two okay so I'm gonna grab these two things and I'm gonna slice so that it still gives me that little curvature that I'm looking for you see but it's thinner, right? So this one's thin, I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna get rid of this one. So this is more of just trial and error, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it like this and you see how it kinda, it's flowy, right? Okay, so let me, um, let me zoom out for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna twist this until it kinda fits in that curve, so it's going it's kind of going like this, okay? So if I like this, I'm gonna grab these two things and I'm gonna slice. So it's not a straight up and down cut, and that way it doesn't look, it doesn't look weird. It looks like an obvious cut or, you know, like that. So it's like, it bends with the skirt. It looks like it should be two pieces. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna delete it, and this, we're going to duplicate and contour, and we're gonna separate the, the pieces. So here's one skirt, here's the other skirt, the other piece. So now we have two pieces. We're saying there is meant to be a little cut right there. This one is a little bit thinner on the top. We can take another piece and slice it out if we want to, but to me it looks, it will just flow with the skirt. It's just gonna look like it went down, like at a little bit of a curve. Okay, so our skirt's done. Let's zoom back out and let's see what we have. Uh, we've got the shoes here, the shoes are good. The whites are good. You can always 
duplicate and contour so that you can separate these pieces if you're really worried about that. Okay, so now we've got this, these pieces. Now, for these pieces, if you remember, I use Flock HTV. So I cut it twice. One layer I cut in cardstock, black cardstock, so that I can um, press my HTV onto here. And so you're gonna wanna cut one layer in HTV, one layer in cardstock. And I believe uh, that's all we did, right? Yes, that's all we did. Okay, this little band is good. Her skin is all good. Okay, this piece is kind of big. I'm trying to find an empty space. But uh, all we need to do is separate this. So let's duplicate and go to contour and get rid of the forearm. So this arm you see is seven inches by 10 and a half. It's totally good. Contour, let's get rid of Let's hide all, I want this piece, I don't want this piece. And this piece is 7.8 by 4.6, so we're good. Same thing with this, this will all go together and cut. Okay, um, this is all good. Let's see, what did I do? Okay, I, oh, okay, so we've got this. This is a bit, um, bit bigger so hold on we gotta work on the hair but I think everything else is good the eyebrows are good yeah the eyes okay so we're all good with those pieces all we have left to deal with the hair and the black background okay so I'm gonna scooch this over so that we have new space for the hair all right if you make Maribel smaller than four feet, you will not have an issue with the hair. The hair will probably be less, can, you can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This will be one piece, which is brilliant, right? It's all one piece. This is all connected. It'll sit on top and it'll be really pretty. I ended up using regular black cardstock and then I used brown glitter cardstock for the hair and it really looks nice. So, um, all right, but because we are using, t um, we are doing her at 48 inches, she is too big, right? So what did I do? This is what I did. I put these two together. Let's grab these two and align center it. And let's just duplicate it in case I make a mistake. <laughs> We're gonna put this aside. All right, to do the brown, this is what I did. And it was definitely a little bit time consuming. The brown, I ended up cutting it into, slicing it into two. And I wanted to slice it right where the black was gonna be so I wouldn't have any issues. So I'm grabbing these two, they're aligned, I'm gonna slice. So here's my brown piece. I'm gonna get rid of all of this, okay? And we're gonna zoom in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to add, so you see this is where I want, this is the, the, the slice between the two pieces. It's basically a middle part. We're gonna have a left side and a right side. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this. I'm gonna make sure that my, that my left side is all, um, welded okay so i want to make sure all the pieces are welded so i'm just doing a bunch of circles making sure all the pieces are connected i'm gonna unlock that one and make it longer so maybe ah oh, let me undo that I didn't want to move the hair. I wanted to move this piece. Let's see if I can get most of this in here. Okay, so that's touching everything. So I need two little dots left. So you see what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that every brown piece is touching another brown piece so that it becomes one again. I sliced it so that the seams would not be noticeable because it's going to be where the black sits on top of it. So I'm gonna duplicate that little, little circle 
and I'm gonna bring it up here and connect that little piece of hair out there. Okay, now I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna weld it. So this side is all good, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this now and I'm gonna separate the pieces. I'm gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna say get rid of that piece and this little one. I'm getting rid of all of this. All right, did I get rid of everything? Like, oh no. Ah, what's going on here? Okay, there. So I got this one all by itself, right? Although it looks kind of weird. What's hanging out over here? Nope. Okay, so this piece is all by itself. Now this piece, we're going to click on contour and let's see if I hide all, what happens? Okay. Oh, perfect. So I've got this side, and this side. Um, oh, there's a little dot right there. Do you see that? Let's go to contour and get rid of that little dot that's hanging out over here. There's a small dot somewhere. Where are you? I can't find it. So let's see. Oh, okay, it's right there. I'm going <laughs> sometimes we want to get rid of that little piece right there. We're going to slice it because I couldn't find it. There. So now this piece is all by itself. This piece is all by itself. To, they go together right here. Okay. And then you're going to put the black on top of it. So it's all nice and it's all one piece for this one. Let's get rid of this. This one we want to do the same to make it all one piece because right now it's in multiple pieces. So we're going to bring in a bunch of little circles just like we did before on the other side and make sure that everything is connected. I'm doing a lot of circles just to make it faster and easier on myself to make sure everything's connected. It's almost all connected. We've got one more right here that's not connected. Let's duplicate that and I want to make sure you can see that. Make it really small and bring it down right there. I'm going to grab all of this and weld and then I'm going to grab this and just go to contour and I'm going to hide all, all those little pieces. Oh, this one's not connected. So we need to connect that. Let's bring in another circle. Um, weld. Okay, so now the two pieces of hair, they're gonna connect like right here. We're not even gonna see that seam. We're not gonna see anything. The black is gonna go right on top. So let me arrange them to the front. And it's going to go right like that. So you're not going to see any of the empty space because it's going to sit perfectly on top of that. Um, and in fact, like, do you see over here? When you place this down, it's going to fall right in there. So everything's going to be perfect on that. So we don't need this brown piece of hair because we've got the hair here perfectly. Now this guy, we do need to cut into two, right? So... On this one, what did I do? I think I just sliced it and taped it together. Like there wasn't anything in particular. We're just gonna bring in like a big shape. So let me move it over some more so that we have a lot of empty space so I can show you this. All right, let's bring in, um, let's bring in a circle. And I'm gonna unlock this.
And I'm just going to slice something like that, okay? So that now this piece is by itself, and then we can get rid of all the slice results. And, now, and these two pieces, you're not even going to notice the little, the little cuts, okay? All right, so that's all done. Let's see. All we have left is this guy. Okay, so let me get rid of this. I think that's it, yeah. So here's the thing. You can either, I actually use 12 by 24 cardstock. So I'm gonna assume that you don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, and I'm going to assume that you're using 12 by 12 cardstock, okay? So I'm gonna go into images, and I'm going to drop in my four by four grid of squares. You can get this on my website for free if you subscribe or you can pay for it. But what's nice is anytime that you need to do a big off the map project, you will have your grid already. They're already flush together. So that way when you go to piece this back together, it's gonna look as seamless as possible. So um, the way you use this grid is I'm gonna grab the grid and I'm gonna grab her and let's move this over Let's go to position, okay? And let's go to uh, 90 and two and five, okay. 90 and five, good. Brought it over here in the clear a little bit. Let me move these things out of the way. Okay, so here's, here's the grid. What I always like to do though is I like to put the grid on whole numbers. So I'm gonna put this at 105 and at two, okay? and then I'm gonna ungroup it. Then I'm gonna bring her in, arrange, send to the front, and I'm going to put her, not necessarily in the middle, so that we don't have seams coming down the face. I believe this is all hair right here. And then her legs will be split there. I think this is a good cut. So we actually don't need any of these squares over here. And we don't need these over here. Okay, so let's do this. One, one square at a time we're gonna slice. And we're just gonna make our way through. Now, if it turns out that this slice, let me see where this is. Let me bring this to the front. Arrange, send to the front. So I think it looks something like this. So this slice comes down, it's covered by hair and skin. You won't even see anything. Okay, uh, so we've got, do we slice these two yet? Yeah. We're just gonna make our way around and slice each piece. Remember, you can only slice two items at a time. So we're slicing a square and the black image um, are our two pieces, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna move it over so that I wanna make sure all the pieces look good. I'm keeping them in order so that when I take this off the mat, the thing with using black cardstock for your black background <laughs> is that most of the time my black looks the same front and back. So as I pull things off the mat, sometimes I can't tell like, oh, is it right side up or do I need to flip it? And then I need to figure out where the pieces go. It's just easier for me to keep it in place so that I can easily identify, oh, that piece is the bottom right skirt. This piece is here, you know, um, and this goes here. It looks perfect. This we can get rid of. Oh my gosh, that was so much easier, right? And I hope it was much more clear and that you guys are able to make it. I absolutely love my Maribel and follow on how to do the foam board because you could see she's standing propped up against my little desk um, and she's just super, super cute. All right. Thank you for letting me know that it was super glitchy. Hopefully this is, like I said, is good. Let me know comments, questions. See you guys next time.